Hey guys! Oh my goodness, it has been a long time. Um, so I've been okay. I've just been extremely busy. Um, it is really hard now that I have this new job. It's really hard to find time to make videos. So, uh, because it's like, I, some days, some weeks I start at 12.15 and then other weeks I start at 12.45, but it takes at least an hour commute usually. So it doesn't leave me a ton of time in the morning. Like by the time I get up, get myself breakfast, get myself ready, pack my lunch, I don't really have much time at all. And then when I get home, it's like anywhere between 7 to 7.30 p.m. And then we have dinner, I take a shower, and it's like, I'm done for the night. I'm just like, I want to watch my shows and go to bed. So it's been really hard to find time. I have found a moment today because um, I got home around 10 after 7 tonight. Um, and Alex was having to drop off some stuff at his sister's on the way home from work. And then he's getting, picking up some groceries. So, um, it's going to be a little bit before he gets home and before we have to get dinner going. So I thought I would come on and kind of like give you guys a quick update. Um, so you guys saw my Halloween party. I think that was probably the last video that I uploaded. Um, we had a blast at that. Actual Halloween, though, was a total bust here in, I don't know if it was, like, all of Canada, but, like, Toronto and, and Quebec and everything, like, we got totally rained out. It was miserable. Um, we had, I would say, a total of five trick-or-treaters. <laughs> Like, that was, like, the smallest amount we have ever had because it was, um, when I got home, it was sort of, like, the rain had died down. Like, it had rained all day. And by the time I got home, though, like, the rain was sort of like a drizzle. So we had a couple of kids come at the beginning. But then, all of a sudden, the wind picked up. It was, like, a huge windstorm. And the rain just started pouring and we got totally rained out and I did do a little video on my phone of that that I'll insert here for you guys just to see it well guys it's Halloween 2019 and it is utter torrential downpour outside um it was just like a light sprinkle when I got home and I was thinking like because it's been raining all day I was like oh maybe it's finally gonna lighten up a little for the trick-or-treaters so we had a couple of trick-or-treaters come by I think like maybe three kids in like the span of an hour <laughs> and then these three little kids just came with their mom and that's when I realized it was now torrential downpour I opened the door and I got soaked these poor kids were in their raincoats. Their mom was in her raincoat with their umbrellas. It's like, it's so sad. Like they have to cover up their costumes. Like this is awful. And it usually rains every year, but not like torrential downpour rain. It's usually like little sprinkles. This is just awful. <laughs> so we had some candy, um, that we didn't even buy for Halloween. Like it was, we had a bunch of like candy that people had given us and stuff. So we were giving those away first and we almost gave all those away. Cause I was basically giving like two to three things per kid because I'm like, I really don't think <laughs> with this weather, we're getting a lot of trick or treaters. So, um, yeah. So now all we have left pretty much are like what we bought, which is like the chocolates and stuff. Um, we might have like two other candies from our other batch to give away, but then the rest is going to be, I think there's like three or four actually. And then the rest are the chocolates that we bought, which we may end up like 
stuck with those chocolates eating those chocolates because <laughs> this is horrible I feel so bad for the kids and Montreal apparently the province over from us they decided to postpone Halloween because they knew the forecast they postponed it till tomorrow night Friday night um, the city-wide like agreed to do it and they were urging Toronto to do the same but Toronto stupid as they are they're like no we're just gonna keep on with the regular Halloween thing it's like come on people if they had waited till tomorrow night tomorrow night's supposed to be clear it's gonna be cold but it's gonna be clear no rain so it's like they really should have just postponed it for tomorrow night and we probably would have had a better turnout I feel so bad Anyways, the little girl I look after right now, she was a unicorn for Halloween, but I don't think she's going to get to go for her first Halloween trick-or-treating. I don't know. I don't think they're going to go out, but it's unfortunate. This is just how it goes almost every year. Our how There's rarely, I would say from the time we've moved in here, and we've lived here 11 years now, out of 11 years, I think we've only had two Halloweens, maybe three, where it didn't rain. Um, other than that, it's been raining and freezing cold. Well, actually, it's not cold today. It's not that cold today, actually, but it's raining. It sucks. Anyways, we got the pumpkin here. I put our two little pumpkins outside our door here to try and show people. I don't even think you can see them because the light sucks. Just so that people know that we're doing Halloween, but I don't think it's really working. They're getting soaked out there. I'm going to have to dry them off because I think I want to um, carve one to get the, um, the stuff out of it, like the filling out of it and put it in a Ziploc bag for like a sensory bag for work. Um, so I'll have to dry those off majorly. I've got, I just finally put the babies back in their spots, except Jeremy, I still have the bouncer in this corner because we still have the, um, whatchamacallit, the, uh, this little setup here, except missing the pumpkins because the pumpkins are outside. And Savannah's just there all by her lonesome. I, when I got home, I took an Uber home so I could get home earlier and I did all my individual baby pictures for Halloween and put them all back in their spots. So that's what's happening this Halloween. And um, just waiting for more trick-or-treaters. I don't think any are going to come. I <laughs> really don't think so. Not with this weather anyway. Um, but yeah, that's basically what's happening right now. We have leftovers we can heat up for dinner, thankfully. Um, and I think I will be able to watch American Horror Story from last night, which is perfect for Halloween. Um, also, I wanted to show you, I put this up. Um, remember I did that crafting thing? The, comp the stamp company sent me like this crafting stuff and I had done the tree in that. Well, I decided to fill in um, clouds and um, greenery and stuff although it's a fall tree so this shouldn't be all that green I think I may go in and add some like little leaves on the ground too but it's kind of like a work an ever-changing work in progress type thing that I have hanging here but anyways I think I heard something outside so I'm gonna see if anyone else is coming and we'll check you later in the next video Happy Halloween, guys. I hope the weather where you are is better than here. Bye. Riley's a lion again this year. Hey, buddy. Hey. <laughs> What's on your head? Are you Simba? Hmm? The Lion King? Time to do a circle of life, buddy. It's your good of life. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>
the shirt. Oh, that's not a good... <laughs> <clears throat> What are you going to do? What are you going to do? <clears throat> oh, no. <laughs> thrilled, buddy. Are you thrilled about your costume? <laughs> You're like, not really. What do these humans do to you, huh? Hmm? Oh, my. Pretty boy. Pretty boy. <laughs> He's sniffing the camera. Simba. Simba. <laughs> Such a handsome lion. Hmm? <laughs> you need to roar. I don't think he's going to. And then um, the first weekend in November. Um, we had an early Christmas party at my mother-in-law's. Um, it was because uh, it was the only date left for her to book the party room in her condo. So it was a 50s themed uh, Christmas party, which I absolutely loved because I love the fashion of the 50s. And so I bought a dress um, off of Amazon and it's I loved it I love this dress and I will wear it again um because funny enough after the fact I real I came across this video on YouTube of Taylor Swift singing safe and sound live and the dress she was wearing almost looked exactly like this dress and that was totally not intended I just really was like drawn to the yellow I thought the yellow looked really pretty and it would be a different color for me to wear because I tend to do like pinks, purples, red. So I was like, I'm going to try this yellow dress. It looked really pretty. And also I was sort of trying to go for like um, the look of Sandy from Greece. Um, how at the beginning she has like a yellow skirt. I thought like yellow dress because Alex was going as a greaser. So sort of like John Travolta's character, Danny from Greece. Uh, so that was super fun to dress up like that. We had a blast with that. Um, I even tried to copy like Sandy's hairstyle. Um, it didn't come out that great, but it, it was all right. Um, so I will also share some pictures of us in our costumes here. That was the um, 50s themed Christmas party. And we even had like um, 50s themed food dishes that people brought. Like cocktail wieners, spam, um, cheese whiz on Ritz crackers. Um, I think it's like that mar marshmallow fruit, marshmallow coconut fruit salad type thing. Um... There was a brie, there was, um, I'm trying to remember what else there was. There was, gosh, some other type of salad thing, I think. I can't fully remember everything, but we also had ice cream floats with Coke and vanilla ice cream. There was also, like, candies that came out in the 50s, like, um, what is it, like, double bubble 
bubble gum and pixie sticks and caramels and things like that. So that was a lot of fun. Um, yeah. So basically, I've been super busy, like, getting acquainted with um, the little girl I'm taking care of. And she's super adorable. And um, it's just been busy, like, planning the, act the daily activities. Because, like, when I used to take care of Margaret and Annie, I was only working, like, two days a week. So I only had to plan, like, I don't know, I think it was like two activities per week or something like that. And the rest was sort of like free play. So now I'm having to plan five activities a week because actually, originally I started out working Tuesday to Friday, but now I'm working Monday through Friday every afternoon. So I have to do like five activities a week. Um, so busy planning that. nature trail is amazing. There's so many different wildlife. There's also ducks down there. We're just surrounded by all kinds of wildlife. It's so cool. There's a squirrel out there. This is awesome. That's so awesome. I wish I had got video of that, but uh, there's a blue jay in the tree there. Um, what else do I have to tell you guys? Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it yet on my videos, um, but I did get myself a ticket to Taylor Swift's Lover Fest for next summer. I'm so excited. Um, I'm a little bit nervous about trying to figure out the travel arrangements and how to get to the concert, but I think I've sorted it out because um, I've been in touch with um, a group chat of people on Twitter and I think I've got a ride with this one girl. Um, she's going to be staying at the same hotel as me. We might be sharing a room. I've booked my own room just in case it doesn't work out or just in case I don't like feel comfortable sharing a room with someone else because sometimes I like to have my own space. But we'll see how it works out. But she, um, her and another girl are going to be sharing the room and I could share with them. 
and then we'll all like drive down to the show together and hopefully drive back as well because it sounds like that area is super crazy to try to get Ubers back to your hotel. So if I don't have to deal with that, that would be great. Um, I'm sitting by myself, but um, I am sitting near a lot of Toronto Swifties that I know from Rep Tour. Uh, they're kind of all sitting in the same vicinity as me. And we did get floor seats, so I'm really excited about that. But the stage looks to be in the round. It's a heart shape. So we're sort of at the top part of the heart, but I'm not really sure like which part of the heart is considered the front or if there is even a front. Cause if it's like in the round, she should be like constantly moving around the whole thing. So there shouldn't be like a bad seat. Um, Backstreet Boys did a tour once where they were walking around um, the stage in that. Um, the other thing is this past weekend, we went to Buffalo for the day and did a little bit of shopping. I mostly did Christmas shopping, um, but we did do like a Trader Joe run and got some goodies from Trader Joe's. Most of the stuff it, that we ended up getting is stuff that we have bought before when we've gone to Trader Joe's. So that's why I didn't bother doing a haul. Um, if you're interested in seeing what we bought the last time we went to Trader Joe's, I will try to find that video and link it in the iCard up above. Um, and you can have a look at that because we pretty much got the same things. Like we got our cookie butter we always like. We got the s'mores, um, chocolates. We got, I don't know, some frozen foods for dinners, things like that. We got like Cantonese chow mein. Um, I don't know, just a mixture of things. So... We, we didn't really like film what we got. Um, and obviously I'm, I can't film like all the stuff I bought cause there's a lot of Christmas gifts, but I've sorted them and I've put the stuff that I bought for myself, um, aside. So I will show you guys that either in this video or maybe the next video, but I'm going to take a little break right here in this video before I continue on because the, the final part of this video is like the cherry on top of the cake because the most exciting thing happened the day after our Buffalo trip and I want to give it enough time in this video to really like talk about it um, and share video from it with you guys because it was an incredible experience but I have to now start dinner so I will pause here and I'm going to come back and finish this video and tell you guys about it after I get dinner going. All right guys so here's my haul. Hi Riley. Um, from our trip across the border for the day. Hey buddy. Yeah. Um, okay so at Cracker Barrel I got some more of these scented sachets to put in the drawers. I love these. And some of the ones that I got the last time are starting to lose their scent. So I'm going to use those. And I saw this. It's a credit card case with llamas on it. But I'm going to use it for my business cards. Because the one business card case that I have, like, I think it only holds 10 business cards, if even that. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, so this looks like it would hold a lot more and like it has llamas, so I couldn't pass that up. At Bye Bye Baby, I could not pass up this te teether mitt that has llamas and like the teether part is an actual llama. So cute. Um, and so yeah, you just put it on the baby's hand. I thought that would be a fun prop for the babies. And then I also got a fox one because I love fox stuff and Joshua's whole thing is foxes. Which is funny because I usually don't do themes with babies, but he pretty much came with a fox theme from Angela. And I've kind of kept it to some degree because I really like the foxes. They're cute. Um, I also got this at Bye Bye Baby. It's a Rudolph that has a rattle in it. And I got this to go with the Rudolph outfits that I have for my boy babies. 
Um, then at Target, I got this for my Elf on the Shelf. I thought it was super adorable. I couldn't pass it up. So, comes with a tent, a scarf, a fire, and two marshmallows to roast. I thought that would be cute to leave out for Elfie this year. Um, and also, I don't have it in this video because it will, you will get to see it in another video when I have my Christmas party, but Target had a really cool, um, I just totally just, it caught my eye as I was walking by one of the aisles. They had llama themed party stuff. So I was like, okay. December is my birthday, Paula's birthday, the end of November is Marilyn's birthday. So I'm like, this year for the Christmas party, it's going to be like birthday slash Christmas party. So I'm going to have my Christmas decorations up. But the plates, napkins, all that stuff is going to be llama themed, like birthday party llama themed. I'm so excited about it. So you'll have to wait and see those at the party. Then we went to the paper store, which is by Hallmark. And I went there. I wanted to go to Hallmark in the U.S. because all of our Hallmarks here in Toronto have closed. Um, I think there's only one left that's like way down in the beaches and it's hard to get to for me. And there's also one out near Marilyn at a mall near her that we went to once but other than that all the ones that I used to go to have closed and I'm like no I'm gonna miss getting my tree ornaments so I went in there to look at their tree ornaments and oh I could not pass up Mary Poppins I have always loved Mary Poppins and if you haven't seen my throwback Thursdays or, well, there's not really anything to see on the Throwback Thursdays, more to hear. Um, I posted recordings of myself when I was a child singing songs from Mary Poppins. So, if you haven't heard those, go check out my Throwback Thursday playlist. I'll try to remember to link it, but if I don't, just go to my playlists on my YouTube channel and go to the um, Throwback Thursdays and you'll find it there. But it's Mary Poppins. She's got her umbrella that even has the parrot, her bag, everything. And then coming, um, there's like on a chain below her is a silhouette of London. And it's titled The Perfect Nanny. And I was like, uh -huh, I'm a nanny. I have to get a Mary Poppins for my tree. And then, um... I also got the new fairy for this year, Sweet Pea Fairy. I thought she was super adorable. I love the color of her hair. What's wrong, buddy? Riley! What's wrong? <laughs> I think he's cold. You shouldn't be cold, though. The heater's on. Go sit by the heater. <laughs> or go in your sleeping bag. Um, I loved her hair color and the braid and the wings and her dress. Um, I don't have all of the fairies. They come up with a new fairy every year for the past, I don't know how many years. It's been a while. And I have quite a few of them. I haven't got all of them because some of them I didn't care for. But I have quite a few. I think I have two or three other fairies. So I really liked her. And then I also... I was originally just going to get those two, and then this one caught my eye. It's a cute little robin um, in a hat and a scarf on a branch with some holly. And I just thought that was super adorable. So I got three ornaments to add to my tree this year. So I'm happy about that. Um, so yes, that is what I got. And we have something new for Elfie. And... That is it. Everything else that we bought there was food, like grocery items, and um, gifts for people. <laughs>